So tell me about, so do you know anything about them? And for example, do you believe in them? Uh, I don't know it. Uh, I don't know much about it. Uh, but the young people nowadays believe it a lot. Yeah. Uh, I don't know it's uh, right or uh, we can believe a more on it or not. Yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, I uh, saw my, my children. Uh, yeah. Talked about, talk much about this. Yeah. But I don't know. But I don't care. Yeah. I, I don't, yeah, I don't pay attention about it. Yeah, of course. You know, some people believe in actually star signs. And yeah, I don't know. They think, you know, they, of course, it's sad that it's something uh, scientific, but I'm not sure because, you know, as you said, I have nothing to say about it. So, for example, as you can see, we have some characteristics. For example, uh, I was born in Cancer, so my star sign is Cancer. So, creative, lazy. I definitely no, because I'm really hard working. <laughs> I'm not lazy mm -hmm. at all. So, maybe I can say no. I don't know if I'm creative or not, but lazy, no, definitely no. Or for example, Leo, talkative, bossy, Virgo, neat, critical, lip, bra, friendly, careless, and about you. So I think it depends on the day. So uh, may I uh, ask what day you were born? Um, I was born on 6th of December. Okay, so December 6th, I think, ah, uh, so I think, let me check December 6th, so we, so because it's from, you know, no, so you are not, your star sign is not Capricorn, so I think it should be, I don't know, maybe another, because here we have it, 22nd, so I think, no, it's not, so I find it for you. But, you know, I don't know, astrology, of course, is like science. So, yeah, as you science. can see, yeah, of course. So, uh, we have some star signs here. So, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, mm. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. So, of course, I think, you know, sometimes maybe they can state some facts about people. I do not know, but, you know, of course, I have nothing to say about it. OK, let me ask you now another thing. So about uh, people's personalities or characters. What characteristic can be really annoying for you? It's like when you meet people. So what can be really annoying for you? Mm. Or let me ask another question. Let me make it better. So I just uh, remember the first time that you met your husband. And of yes. course, it was really good first impression. So tell me about his character, his personality. So what adjectives can you use to describe your husband that really attracted you? It was le really interesting, attractive to you. Tento. Mm. Tento. Um, honest. Honest. Honest, honest, okay, mm. well. Mm. Rel um, reliable. Reliable, of oh, course. Reliable. Yeah, so reliable, very good. Handsome. Oh, charismatic. <laughs> of course, charismatic. So charming. is <laughs> So that's perfect. So let me write actually the adjectives that you say. It's not bad. 
Of course, it's not easy to write without my lenses, but I, I try. <laughs> okay. Coming. So charming, like, you know, of course you should be handsome and charismatic to attract people. So you said reliable, I say trustworthy. So because they are the same, so why not? You can have it. Trust worthy, that is reliable and dependable, of course. So this one and Honest, that was really good. So honest and another one. So let me, okay, mm, mean or generous? Mean or generous? Yeah. Uh, he's, he's generous. So, okay, so we can say stingy because mean can be used in all the main, so I will explain it. So here, I mean ungenerous, that is negative, of course. Mm. Yeah, or stingy. So, stingy. yeah, and the opposite is generous, you know. So, okay. Well, but mean, because you know that mean uh, is also means unkind or unfair. It's really difficult to write. Okay, well, so. Okay. Well, so we're going to learn some adjectives. The first one, non-judgmental. Of course, the opposite is judgmental people who judge others, criticize others easily. So as you can see, I really appreciate my parents' non-judgmental attitude. They always accept and support every single decision I make. So they don't judge. So how about you? how actually tell me about you behave try to behave and try to actually maybe react when your kids i don't know uh have problems or for example they make decision so you try to actually you judge and you criticize and i don't know you try to make them and convince them to change their ideas or no you just accept and support them Um, I uh, meet, um, many years ago, I am, I usually judge or criticize about yeah. others. Yeah, yeah, of course. But, um, I learned that it's not good and I, uh, I, I, change my mind and I don't judge and criticize. Of course, very good. So it's like, yeah, uh, we can have another word that is really good synonym for non-judgmental that I say it's open. If you uh, uh, open wait, 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 please oh. wait for me a minute. Thank you. So
Okay. Hello again. Hi. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. Okay. Well, so we were talking about this adjective that you know you can also say open. If you're open, you easily accept, you think about orders, opinions, and for example, decisions, you don't judge them, so you don't uh, criticize them. You don't tend to actually judge people based, based on your personal opinion. So, and the opposite is judgmental. That is like, you know, people who tend to criticize and, you know, judge people based on their opinion and, of course, personal opinions. Well, well, and cautious. So this one is careful, cautious. So a person is yeah, careful, of course. So, uh, of course, it's like being careful about what you say or do. So it is really important. So, you know, to avoid danger or mistake. It means, you know, no, uh, just, just, you know, some people take risk when talking, when doing something, but that is not taking any risk. So, for example, governments actually should be cautious. So especially in, for example, when they want to respond to the report, so it's like they need to be careful. And the opposite of this word is careless or incautious. So if you want to know, so incautious. Careless. So my boss is very cautious person. He doesn't want any mistakes to be made in the report, of course. So it's careful and incautious means careless. Well, okay. Odd, eccentric, odd, strange, unusual. OK, my cousin chose to leave an ex eccentric light with 20 cats. So it's something, of course, when we say odd, or strange, unusual, it depends on a culture. You know, for example, maybe something that is considered as unusual or eccentric in one culture can be really normal in other culture. So it depends. So eccentric can be odd, unusual, strange. So tell me about uh, I don't know, like for example, an eccentric behavior or for example, lifestyle in your country. So yeah. what, what can be considered the young, as young people? Yeah. Young, young Vietnamese, young people in Vietnam, in Vietnam, young people yeah. in Vietnam are uh, eccentric included my children. <laughs> Why they are eccentric? <laughs> uh, my, about my, my son. Yeah. Uh, both my son and my daughter. They yeah. wear something strange, unusual. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> I, sometimes I don't like it. I don't like the way they wear. <laughs> yeah. But uh, on the street, I saw, I saw every, uh, most of young people wear like uh, my children. Of Similar. Of course. Yeah. Why not? They can easily wear anything they will like. So why not? It's just, you know, they will like, if they make them feel better, feel good. why not feel good? So why not? It's perfect. But you know, a good point. Actually, there is nothing that can actually is considered exactly in my country. So everything is okay usual. So even if you're naked, so everything is normal in my country. Well, no, I was just kidding. It's not really normal. Okay, genuine. So what is the meaning mm -hmm. of this? Yeah, genuine is honest and sincere. So genuine is honest and sincere. So 
My neighbor seems genuine when she says she wants to offer a helping hand. So it means, you know, honest. My neighbor seem yeah. genuine. Yeah. He, she thinks she wants to offer a helping hand. Um, of course. Genuine. Because, you know, some people, I think, pretend. But, you mm -hmm. know, it's not like, you know, something that they uh, believe or, for example, they really want to do. You know, it's not something from their heart, I can say. But some people are really genuine when they offer, I don't know, to um, something or to do something. It's, it's fact. It's real. It's like, you know, from their heart. And it's really actually we can say, uh, I don't know, honest. So what do you think about this? Some someone you they uh, they show they yeah. show that yeah they yes. are genuine genuine. Yeah. No, yeah, let me say something. For example, uh, some people when they I don't know they do something when they stay and they express their emotions. The emotions are real, genuine, like mm. you know, honest, real, but. You know, some other just pretend, pretend, but actually it's not real, it's fake. So the mm -hmm. opposite is fake, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think about it? So first of all, if you know anyone or Maybe in um, my life, I I saw someone who uh, who behave. I think it's fake. Yeah. 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 Of course, you know, their attitude, their manners are really but, fake. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In a company, in a company, my uh, uh, one of my colleagues. Yeah. Uh, are not uh, genuine. Yeah. They, they just show that they, uh, she just, she shows she is very genuine. Yeah, of course. So you want to say that she shows a genuine, a genuine interest at work, but it's fake. It's not real. So she shows yeah. a genuine interest but it's it's not fact it's like you know at work but it's really fake it's in yeah. actually you know the opposite of genuine can be as i told you fake or in genuine so you can use both of them in genuine yeah yeah Yeah. Well, and naive. Actually, this adjective, yeah. yeah, it's like, you know, really simple without knowledge, experience. So normally it can be considered as negative adjective, but, you know, maybe in some cases we can say it's neutral or maybe slightly positive, but I think mostly we say it's negative adjective when you have nothing. So no experience, no knowledge. So you're too simple. So it's like, yeah, you're naive. So as you can see, lacking experience of life, knowledge or good judgments and willing to believe that people always tell you the truth so it's not good you accept everything you think everything that people say is is, is true but it's not of course so yeah yeah it can be really dangerous i think you know it may hurt you yeah so uh when i was about 20 i was so naive for example mm -hmm. about teenagers 
I think unfortunately they think that they know a lot, but you know they don't because of this. We say that okay, it's better not to use social media. You know, at least you know until they until they learn something. Because, you know, they think that, yeah, we know everything, so we're aware of dangers, but actually they're too naive to actually use and to be this, I don't know, dangerous and we can say fake word. So what do you think about this word? Na naive. Naive, naive. Naive, naive, naive. It's not naive, it's not like you need to link, you know, like just naive, naive, naive. naive. Yeah, of course, naive, Na naive, naive, yeah, yeah. naive, naive. Of course. naive. Uh, it's like, tell me uh, when you were, I don't know, teenager, when you were really young, so tell me about that time if you found yourself naive but you know you you actually was all the time like actually tried to uh behave and act as a matcher even when you're really young yeah when i was teenage my friend said that why are you why are you so naive uh, uh, because I don't have a lot of change. I didn't have a lot of chance to go with my friends to play outside. I just stay at home, study and um, go to church, went to church. Yes. Yeah. Um, my parents didn't allow me to play a lot outside. So I think I don't, I didn't, um, know much about uh i i uh i um maybe i a little i was a little bit out of date ah yeah okay. so some new words some slang uh of my friends i don't understand i didn't i didn't understand so yeah. uh, when uh, i heard i i listened to them uh, what they uh, were talking, I asked. What what does it mean? What does it mean? Or I asked. Ah. I asked them. So they they told me that why why are you so naive? <laughs> you were a bit different. I think not. You know. Yeah. It's like I didn't know because. Uh, some people are not really naive. Some people are really pure. You know, you know, pure like I don't know. It's different. Like you know, innocent like a child. You know what I say? Mm -hmm. It's like you know, uh, because uh, it's like a paper. You know, a sheet that is actually just you know white one without any line, without any spots. You know, white and white like pure. So they don't have any bad negative and they're actually something like personality. So because of it, they think that you everyone, yeah, everyone I don't know is right. Everyone, for example, tells the truth. So it's something like a bit different, like children, you know, but some people are too naive, like, you know, I don't know, just without any experience. So it's a, they're a bit different because the first one can be positive. And the second one can be, um, of course, it's negative. Well, mm -hmm. and we, if I want to give you a good opposite for naive, sophisticated is really a good one. So sophisticated is like, you know, person who has a lot of experience and knowledge about the word. So. Sophisticated. Okay, sophisticated, of course, sophisticated. For example, if you are a sophisticated person, it means you have a lot to say. You are experienced, you have a lot of knowledge about the world and life, about culture, so about different maybe uh, categories.
one. Okay, well, and sympathetic. So this one, as you can see, like kind to somebody who's hurt, showing that you understand. Well, so. Of course, and are you? Mm. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Easy to try. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, just uh, we have another word. Let me write here empathetic. So, yeah. <laughs> Empathetic and sympathetic. So actually there are similar words, but let's talk about, first of all, let me give you the meaning of uh, empathetic. Again, means able to understand and share the feelings to others. So being empathetic, you could easily understand, for example, your friends, your family's pain feelings. So if you are, you can easily understand how the, uh, the other people feel, okay? But you know here, um, there is a difference. So actually, uh, when we say empathetic, so being empathetic means putting yourself easily and completely in another person's shoes. So you can completely understand. Being sympathetic means showing concern, okay, for someone when something, I don't know, bad happens. So, you know, slight difference. So, when we say, let me write here. So, so, being sympathetic means think yourself the limited means putting yourself is in play. And completely in other person's shoes. Yeah. Being sympathetic, it's a bit different. Sympathetic. So, sympathetic and empathetic. Okay. Well. But to be in sympathetic means show concern for people or someone when something bad happened to them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, maybe they're slightly different, yeah. but of course, yeah. you know, there's similar words. Never different. Yeah. Yeah. A little different. Yeah, of course. Wow. Well. Empathetic and sympathetic. Okay. Well, let's match. We have some 
adjectives that we just learned and we need to match them to the definition. So let's choose the best one. I think uh, you know the meaning of all them. So just, you know, mean, you know that like unkind. So unfair. So as I told you, flexible. So flexible. Yeah. yeah, you know the moody and just, you know, the yeah. rest of them. So you know this. OK, let's match them. Mm, number one. Hmm. My friends, my friend always has time for me when I got problem. When I got a problem. She seems to understand and wants to help. Sympathetic. Very good, of course. And number two, can you always take a long time to make up his mind? And he's careful to avoid problem and danger. Cautious. Cautious, of course. To thought his first job would be easy and people would be nice. He soon learned differently. Um, mm, Ascentic. So, yeah. Eccentric. Joe thought his first job would be easy and people would be nice. He soon learned, so I think maybe he was too naive. <laughs> because he, naive. Yeah, she learned very, differently. She yeah. soon learned differently. Because he soon learned differently. So it's like, you know, yeah, naive is better. Uh, naive, yeah. yes. I really like uh, but Fiance, fiance. Your, your fiance. Fiance. Yeah. Fiance. Yeah, of course. I really like your fiance. He seems honest and sincere. Sincere. Yeah. Sincere. Yeah. Sincere. Yeah. Sincere. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
in so that was the opposite so genial like trust so which one can be like kind like for example always so which one in genuine Ingenial. No, genuine. In is negative, so it's person the opposite of so genuine is better. So here, genuine is better. So in genuine is negative. So oh, she she is, wasn't very kind. She often oh, wasn't. I'm sorry. Her. I said wise. Oh, la, so sorry. So I, I just so I uh so here. Maybe another is because we have in genuine, so maybe you can use another. So mean is better. I'm sorry because I didn't see wasn't. Mean, so yeah, I know what yeah. mean, of course, definitely mean, yes. Yeah. Was okay. when she was, of course. And the next one. No, no, is a great addition, a uh, great addition to the team. She adapts quickly. To the new situation and doesn't mind change. She adapts quickly to new situations and doesn't mind change. Um, flexible. Flexible, of course. Very good. Car at a, a bit change. Strange. Strange sometimes and when the oldest flows. But he's a good guy. Yeah, it's my son. Eccentric. <laughs> eccentric. Eccentric. Uh, eccentric. Yeah. 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 You can tell Mother a secret, and you know she's never tell anyone else. She is genu genuine. So uh, trustworthy, trustworthy yes. of course, is better one. We can say why not. And yes. some uh, some's a typical teenager. He always seems to be unable and ill or else. He certainly gets angry to for no reason. Maybe moody. Of course, definitely moody. <laughs> he easily changes his mood, of course. Like, of course, he's definitely moody. Yeah. Well. OK. Well, and now we have an audio. So let's listen. Listen to people at a conversation evening and choose a correct answer. What topic do people discuss in the first conversation and what topic they discuss in the second conversation? So let's see. Let me check. Well. OK. Unit one, new things. Recording one. Conversation one. Um, what would you say? Um, for me, an important question is, do you keep yourself to yourself or do you tend to be around a lot? Mm, what are you trying to find out? I suppose I'm looking for a balance. Because the last thing you want is a person who comes in and goes straight up to their room and you never see them again till the morning. <laughs> You know, antisocial. Mm. I'm quite sociable, you know. I like having friends around. I suppose I'm a people person. Yeah. But on the other hand, you don't want a flatmate who's always there so you never get any privacy. And especially in the morning. <laughs> I am not a morning person. I can't stand people who are all bright and cheerful first thing. You know, when I haven't woken up yet. Mm. So, yeah, I'd like someone who is... Quite sociable, but not too sociable. Mm, yeah, I agree. I suppose another question is about housework and cleaning. Yes. Something like, who cleans the place where you live now? <laughs> How would you <laughs> answer that question? Who cleans my flat now? Mm. I do. Yeah, me too. And I'd also ask, are you tidy? 
What answer do you want the person to give? Oh, I'd want the answer to be, oh, yes, extremely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'd hate to live with someone who was really untidy all the time, that never did the washing up, someone that left their stuff just lying all over the place. Mm. Someone who doesn't do their fair share of the housework. No, that would just drive me crazy. I suppose I'm quite tidy myself. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what about money? Yeah, it can be a big problem. I had a flatmate once, and she used to say, I know I have to pay the electricity bill, but can I pay it next week? She promised to pay and then never did. Really unreliable. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter how nice people are if they've got money problems. You need to know they can afford the rent. Mm, but I wouldn't ask, could you tell me how much you earn? Mm. I think I'd say the rent and the bills have to be paid in advance. So I'd ask, can you pay three months in advance and see what they say? Mm. Conversation two. Ooh, that's really difficult to answer. Uh, I would like to think handsome, witty, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're witty. You're quick and you make me laugh. And you're good with words. <laughs> no, but I don't think they describe me like that. I don't know, let me think. Um, I suppose they'd say I'm good at coming up with new ideas. Yes, so I think people would describe me as quite creative. And the second one? Um, well... People know I like doing new things, things that are out of the ordinary. Such as? Oh, well, like last week, I was by the sea with some friends and it was a lovely warm evening and we decided to go for a midnight swim. I mean, we hadn't planned to, it just seemed like a great idea at the time. I like doing new things, different things, so I suppose that means I'm adventurous. Or maybe a better word is spontaneous. Yeah, that's more like it. I get an idea and I do it, no hesitation, so I'm spontaneous. That's useful in my job, too. Can I ask what you do? I work for a web design company. We design websites for new businesses. Hmm, sounds interesting. Most of the time. <laughs> so, that's two very positive words so far. What's your third one? Um, well, I think people that know me would say I'm quite messy and disorganised. You should see my desk, papers everywhere, and my bedroom. And I'm always losing things, so yes. My friends would say creative, spontaneous and disorganised. I'd be interested to know if you agree with them. What words do you think describe you best? Now, that's an interesting question. Actually, I'd like to think that I'm fair, you know, non-judgmental. What do you mean by non-judgmental? Well, I try not to make up my mind about people until I get to know them. So, yes, non-judgmental. But I'd stick with spontaneous and disorganised. I think they describe me quite well. What about you? Um, well, people say I'm fun to be with. A good laugh, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm very practical and down to earth. What do you do? I train people in advanced computer software. But don't worry, I'm not a computer geek. I don't sit in front of my computer for hours. Well, OK, so first of all, the topic of the first conversation the first conversation seems about um, what are three what three questions would you ask a potential black means? Of course. And, yes. Yeah. And how about the second one? The second one is about um what three adjectives my people use to describe you? Yeah, of course, of course. And now, true or false? Could you read it, please? The woman would like someone very sociable. Sociable. Yes. True. Sociable. 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 Sociable, of course. The, the stress is, you know, sociable. The first one, sociable. Yeah. Very sociable. Two. Yeah. Two. And uh, she, as the 
dance in the mornings too. True, but she, I, I heard that she actually was not, you know, morning person. Uh, she yeah. was, she was not. A <laughs> well, well, yeah. Uh, she quite tidy, yes. Yeah. True. She would she ask. Would ask a flatmate about their salary. Yes, true. How about man? The man has a lot of original ideas. Um, Means creative. No, form. She, she created. Creative means having a lot of original ideas, like creative. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. A lot of original idea, original idea. I, I think it's an old idea. Means no. old idea. No. no, it's like, you know, uh, so when you are creative, so it's like you have a lot of original ideas. You know, they belong to, only belong to you. Uh, original. And he thinks carefully before making a decision. Uh, no, uh, for, of course. Yeah. He of course was for yeah. an outdoor adventure school. For. Where? For. So, she, 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 so where does he work? He was a designer. Yeah. Designer, website design. And he, uh, agrees. he agrees with the three uh, adjectives. Yes, two. <laughs> yeah, okay, very good. Well, and now, uh, so let me ask you a question. So here, let me choose one that is better. Okay, so uh, this is about the audio, okay. Uh, what examples do the speakers, do you remember what examples do the speakers give about being antisocial, tidy, reliable, with money, creative? Do you remember? So, of course, there are two a lot, adventurous and non-judgmental. Do you remember? Uh, the me remember about the, the, the main? Yeah, the examples that they gave about being, you know, for example, uh, anti-social, tidy, being reliable. So do you remember? Yeah. So of course you need to listen again to make some notes. Yeah? Um, I think I can remember. Oh, perfect. So I'm waiting to hear. What example do you, do the speaker give now? Example? Um, maybe tidy. He is not a tidy person. Yeah. What a example. Yeah. He has a messy table, not, uh, not of organization, organized. Yeah, of course, not organized, yeah. messy, of course. Uh, yeah. Always lose things. Yeah, lose things. Yeah. Yeah, of and course. He, um, Mm. Um, reliable with money. Yeah. Uh, she, uh, the, the girl said, uh, uh, told about her flat mate. Um, uh, she, to she told. Uh, about electricity bill. Yeah, very good. And any other way? Mm. Uh, the the man is non judge non judgmental. Non judgmental. Like uh, he don't he don't like. Mm. Yeah. Another. 
Well, so. about the uh, adventurous, I don't remember. Okay, mm. no worries, because I just sent you the audio. Now yes, you can. I will have... listen again. Yeah. Of course, of course, and I will send you this one. Just uh, and you okay. can answer, find the answer, so make some notes and find the answer. Okay, and uh, so. I want you please just, you know, this question. So just think about it. So and back your answer. I want to have an answer about this. So if you can, of course, if you have time, that will be great. So what personality traits do you think that are most important or most valued in Vietnam and why? So yeah. yeah. OK, so do you have any questions, any issues related to this part? No. Okay, Thank you. welcome. That was really good time with you and have a great day. And after that, have a great weekend. So enjoy your time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. You're welcome. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Bye.